The way our devices use data is changing forever. From live streaming to video conferencing, we are now a world of content creators. While the Internet of Things, including traffic monitoring and wearable tech, is exchanging data in real time, it means billions of devices uploading, not just downloading, data. So like most providers right now, I suspect AT&T is seeing an increase in uplink utilization from apps that create more uplink traffic, such as self-generated content, video conferencing, and so forth. And that's only going to increase. Now, increasing that uplink capacity is of key importance to us. So mobile networks today are highly asymmetric. You have a much faster speed in the downlink direction than in the upstream direction. That's why Bell Labs and AT&T decided to collaborate to evaluate a new technology, distributed massive MIMO, that has the potential to significantly boost the uplink. Today, our devices typically only connect to a single radio cell or antenna array, but our devices are transmitting signals in all directions. In this scenario, these signals are being picked up by other antenna arrays in the network, which register them as interference or crosstalk. Having to deal with that interference reduces the efficiency of the network, reducing its overall capacity. Distributed massive MIMO doesn't treat those errant signals as interference. Instead, antenna arrays coordinate with one another acting together as a joint receiver, which eliminates crosstalk. The antenna arrays would essentially cooperate, reinforcing individual connections and reducing overall network interference, thereby increasing the uplink speed. So at Nokia Bell Labs, we've built a prototype. We've tested it here in the lab, that it works fine. And now we want to test it with service providers in real world conditions so that we get that feedback that we need before we can roll it out commercially. We brought it to the 5G testbed here in Austin to put it in an outdoor environment with multiple UEs and with vehicular assessment so that we can see how it works in the real world. So we've seen in simulations that the uplink capacity can go up between 60 and 90%. So an end user will experience almost two times faster uplink speed. With that kind of increased performance, you're looking at being able to upload large files much more quickly and efficiently, along with video conferencing, remote learning, all of which can happen at better quality and reliability. So distributed massive MIMO will be a critical technology for the 5G advanced era. In 2025, there will be much higher demand for uplink traffic. Users will interact with virtual worlds through mobile XR, there will be Internet of Things with devices that generate a lot of data. So that's why this is a game changer. It will provide the uplink speeds that billions of users need and expect. <laughs>